Hey guys, Boo here. So I'm gonna show you guys how uh, you can use Google Screen Search to translate the entire screen on your phone. Uh, how to use it, the bug that I found in it, and how to get around the bug. All right, so uh, I found this Vietnamese website here, a bunch of stuff in Vietnamese. And all you gotta do is hold down the home screen, or the home button, sorry. Uh, Usually there should be a little pop-up that says translate screen, but since it's not I'm gonna hit this button here click translate and it'll translate that entire screen for me <sighs> Crazy now here's the bug um, okay, I'm just gonna hit back the screen translating thing uh, It's like you can only do it once uh, after you do it the first time it'll get stuck on the first screen that you translated and um, all the overlays that it used to translate the first screen will now be on every screen that uh, oh, there you go so you can see the overlay here and there from the first screen um, basically it's just showing you the translation of the first screen that I had translated so the way to get around this is um, this is the only way I found um, instead of hitting back after you translate a screen, you have to hit the recent apps button and close that app. Now that's it. And you can go back in and translate another screen. Like so. And it'll give you a whole new clean translation. Boom. And again, to get out, recent, close that, and then go back to my browser. Now I'll do it again. All right, so I'll just scroll down a little bit, hold down the home button, translate, and clean translation. But if I hit back to go back, try and translate a new screen, it gives me the uh, old overlay. So that's how you use Google Screen Search to translate your entire screen the bug I found and way to get around it. So that's it. Hope this was useful. Learn it, use it, abuse it, Google, fix it. My name is Bowie and I'm out. Later. Oh, I'm awesome.